Hello, is this Martin? It is, yes. Hello, Martin. This is Hi. Dustin Wilmus from the Five Count in uh, the United States. Sure. How are you doing? And you're interviewing me. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. I'm, I'm here with my co-host, Tun. Hey there, how are you doing? Hi. Well, if you have uh, some time here today, we'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure, no problem. Okay, well, uh, we are big fans of the Tiger Lily, so we wanted to ask you some questions about that. And First of all, how did you, how did you go about forming the group? Uh, that was uh, about 20, uh, 21 years ago now, and um, I, uh, I bought, uh, bought an old accordion. Uh, I think it was 40, 40 pounds, and uh, I started playing it, and um, I just liked the, liked the sound of it. A bit out of tune and everything didn't really matter, and I th- I thought about uh, playing that and singing with a high voice, and um, that was pretty much it really. That was the that, those were the two key things. And then I um, <clears throat> I was influenced by a Belgian singer called Jacques Brel a lot. He was he was a big influence. And then the uh, and then there's things like the Three Penny Opera by Bertolt Brecht and Kurt Weill. They were a big influence. So, so that was kind of the songs I decided to write, and then I thought I should uh, fill it, fill out the sound a bit, um, <clears throat> and so I uh, advertised for a double bass player and a drummer who played with brushes. That was pretty much that was pretty much how it started. With uh, the the singing kind of in falsetto or that higher type singing, was that something that you just had naturally, or did you have to develop that kind yeah. of over time? Or? Yeah, I always, I always, I could always do that. I could always uh, sing in high high voice. I. My uh, my voice broke. I was I was sing, I was singing in a choir, and uh, I was I was a pretty good choir boy, and um, then my voice broke, so obviously I had to stop. And then when I uh, a few years later um, tried to sing again and found I could sing, you know, with that high voice, and and uh, yeah, I used to uh, go and find um, big empty spaces, you know, like. Um, the tunnels or uh, in, fa- in empty factories and sing and I, I was really uh, surprised and I thought it sounded uh, pretty good and uh, so yeah I always had it and then uh, as I got into my 20s I sort of experimented with uh, other sort of voices other sort of singing styles I sang like Louis Armstrong for a, for a while and uh, uh, yeah you know I, I, I uh, so I, tr- I tried uh, tried different styles um, but then, when I, as I say, when I got the accordion, I just thought that would make a really nice combination, the high voice with the accordion. Is it hard to uh, go back and forth between the voice? or What, you mean between the low and the high? Like just uh, every day, when, like if you're at the supermarket or something, oh, I, do you have to consciously yeah, well, decide which... Yeah, my voice which... does shoot up. When I, when I, you know, when I get a bit uh, excited, um, my voice tends to, uh, you know, shoot, tends, does tend to shoot up <laughs> uh, quite easily. Um, you know, so uh, yeah, it, it, it can uh, it can go up there because I sing up there every night. So uh, yeah, I guess so. When it comes to the music that you write, with the themes and the subject matters of your songs, are usually things that aren't uh, the most pleasant. Is that uh, is there a reason for that, or is it just something that you enjoy to kind of make other people well, uncomfortable? I think, I think it prob- I think it probably came from that. Th- I think maybe that's yeah. I mean. Inspired quite a lot by the three, the Three Penny Opera from Brett, uh, you know, Brett and Val's Three Penny Opera, because they they, they uh, that's pretty uh, the, the way the, the sort of subject matter they tend to sing about sort of quite uh, sort of stark social realist um, subjects, you know, sort of like singing about uh, prostitutes, war, corruption, police uh, brutality, sort of stuff like that, you know, and and uh, so I think it was uh, that was probably a, a Kind of, I, I think that sort of pushed me in that sort of direction, and obviously then it developed. And as as the years went by, I kind of broadened the uh, subjects and changed things. You know, sort of went into different areas of um, and stuff. But uh, but yeah, I think probably it's uh, quite 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 a lot of it was inspired by um, by that the three, three penny opera originally at least. And we read some place that. Um... You said that you enjoyed it when people at your shows were offended and they walked out. Mm-hmm. Is yeah, that, is that I mean, something it, that happens a lot? Or? <laughs> no, not not not, not um, less and less really. I mean, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, it's it's good that you, you some some people actually really you know don't like what you do. I think it's a uh, pretty quite.
quite a healthy sign, really. Um, I think if, uh, yeah, I mean, it, I, I was funny, so I was just talking about that today. I'm in uh, Austria at the moment, and I'm going to play um, in um, uh, Linz in Austria, and, and, and the promoter that organises our tours in Austria, he actually, uh, he actually said that uh, the, the guy in Linz who runs the main rock venue there actually was uh, really annoyed that, that, that <laughs> the promoter actually rang him up to suggest a gig because he because he hates he hates the tiger that is uh, you know really you know and he was actually quite shocked just how much he hated us so I think that's uh, I think that's the, the fact that you actually um, trigger that quite an extreme response um, for some people probably is a sign that you're doing something uh, right in a way so you've got a lot of stuff going on a lot of albums tours and different things big projects dvds whatnot how do you uh how do you manage to just keep all that together or just keep all the time to keep all of it straight oh it's, it's quite easy really because uh for example i'm singing uh six weeks now uh in uh, in the same town in uh in, in salzburg in austria um we've got a, a, sh- a show called the tiger lily's freak show and uh, it's one of our albums and it's uh We've we've uh, have a lot of um, it, it's about it's a, it's kind of a little sort of circus stru- show based on on the freak idea of a freak show, and so we're performing here for six weeks. So I've got all the day uh, when I'm not performing on stage. You know, I've got I've, I've got time to to write and record things. Um, so it's not it's not easy. It's not difficult difficult really. You know, if you if you're a, if you actually like writing songs and you like um, Doing different projects, um, yeah, it's 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 you know there's 24 hours in a day, and you can spend quite a few of them working on new songs and new ideas. Out of all that stuff, um, are there any of the projects do you think that really helped you guys break out? And the Shock Headed Peter musical was was well received, and I know you guys won a Grammy. Mm-hmm. Um, is does any of that to bring you any more of a commercial success, or maybe that's something you guys aren't interested in? Or? Well, I mean, I'd love to uh, have. Uh, as much success as uh, I possibly could, you know. But uh, uh, but I, I suppose it just depends on. Uh, yeah. But I, I you know I want the success to be on my on my terms. Uh, I don't want to um, water things down or uh, try to make things uh, more sugary or more you know, just to yeah. just to um, access more re- record sales or, or downloads or whatever. Um, so no, I'm I'm uh, I, I'm I'm obviously. Um, Happy uh, to, to to have uh, any success, really. Um, it, it's really not, um, you know, it's, it's it's interesting as well, interesting journey. Um, seeing uh, it's nice, it's nice when something like Shocky to Peter happens, uh, or the you know, you know the Grammy nominations and things like that. You know, it's it's a nice, uh, nice thing. Now, you guys mentioned you're uh, touring in Austria for six weeks. Is that? Are you guys just on tour like a year round, or do you guys ever take? Mm-hmm. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. We, 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 you know, we have we have a few few weeks off here and there, but, but, but we, yeah, we pretty much work uh, all year round. Is there ever a chance that you guys would do a, more of an extensive tour of the U.S.? Or I know you guys have played a few dates. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, we're we're always uh, we, we we'll go wherever we're off of work. You know, if uh, someone in the United States um, wanted to. Uh, Organize a uh, an extensive, you know, tour of, of the United States, and uh, uh, we'd be happy to um, do it. You know, it's it's we really uh, we go wherever we're offered work. Um, yeah, that's that's what, that's how we work. We should look into that. <laughs> we'll try to get something set up. <laughs> well, yeah, that would be, be, be great. Well, what are you guys uh, up to now besides the the touring? Are you working on any projects or anything coming up? Sure, I mean, we, you know we're actually doing this uh, this show called the Freak Show at the moment, and uh, we've got uh, yeah, we've got we've got uh, about I don't know for about five projects uh, going forwards. There's uh, Lulu is uh, one sh- uh, one show that I've work- been working on a lot at the moment, which is uh, um, probably more well known as Pandora's Box, which was a which is a film um, silent film with Louis Brooks um, in, the, in the late twenties. Uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic film, fantastic story. So we're uh, working. I've been working on songs for that. For the, and uh, and yeah, we've got. Uh, I don't know. There's quite a few. 
few different projects. People come forward and uh, offer us things, and uh, so yeah, we work. You know, we work uh, do quite a few uh, theatrical type projects. Uh, do them, but then we do. We've been doing a thing with a photographer called Nan Golden. Um, Ballad of Sexual Dependency. That's another thing we've uh, been doing and performing in various cities uh, in Europe. So yeah, we we're. Uh, we, we, we do quite a few different things, you know, it's all helpful for uh, subject matter, you know, to write songs about you. It's nice to have uh, uh, different themes to write about. And all this uh, stuff can be found on your website, right? Are you guys self-release most yeah, web, of your albums? Yeah, the, web, the, the website, you can, buy, you can buy most of the albums on, on the website, yeah. Tigerlilies.com? So. That's the one, yeah, tigerlilies.com. There you go, Tom. I'm going there. All right. Well, do you guys have any parting words? Uh, no, not really. Um, no, I mean, uh, I, you know, I, 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 you'll, uh, hope, hopefully we'll uh, be able to play um, play a bit more in, in the United States in the future. That'd be great. We'll try to get some funds together and see if we can get you guys over here. That'd be nice. Great. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. All right. Nice to speak to you then. All right. Have a good one. Thanks a lot. Bye. All right. Bye.